a very good morning to all my dear ones. Today we are going to start with a new subject, Max. So this is your Max textbook. So all of you should have a Max notebook and for every subject you should have a notebook with you. You should be ready with your notebooks when you start with the class. Okay. So the first chapter is comparing. So have you heard the word comparing before? So when you see objects, you can have, you can see objects with different size. Like, have you seen football? If you take a football, it is big. Have you seen cricket ball? It is small. So both these balls have different size. So football is bigger and cricket ball is smaller. So we can say football is bigger than cricket ball. So every objects have different size. Now, let's see. There is a, this is a ball and we'll draw one more ball. So, what is the color of the first ball? It is yellow. So, what is the color of the second ball? It is red. So, do they look same? Do they have the same size? No. One, this ball is big and this ball is small. So, we can say the yellow ball is bigger than red ball or red ball is smaller than yellow ball. So, bigger, smaller. So, we'll draw one more ball. So what is the color of this ball? It is green. From the three balls, can you say which one is biggest? Is it yellow, red or green? It is yellow. So which one is smallest? Green. So you understood? Biggest and smallest. So next we will see. So I am drawing a line. What is the color of this line? It is yellow. So I'll draw one more line. What is the color of this line? It is red. So the first line, the yellow line is thick. See the red one? Is the red as thick as the yellow line? No. The yellow line is thick. And the red line is thin. So we can say the yellow line is thicker than the red line. Or the red line is thinner than yellow line. So we will draw one more line. So what is the color of this line? This line is green. So from the three lines, can you say which one is thickest? So we can say the yellow one is thickest. Can you say which one is thinnest? Is it red or green? It is green. So this is thickest and thinnest. So this is one line. What is the color of this line? This is red. So we will draw one more line. So, this line is long, this line is short, this one is short and this one is long. The red line is longer than the yellow line and the yellow line is shorter than the red line. So, we we'll say longer, shorter. Next, for example, if your storybook is kept on top of your shelf. So where is it? It is kept on top of your shelf. So but you can't take that. Why? Because you are shorter. But your mother can take because the book is on a height. You can't take but your mother can take it. Why? Because she is taller than you. If you stand along with your father or mother, you can see they are taller than you and you are shorter. 
So taller, shorter. So this is a tall object. I'm drawing a short one. So this one is taller than this and this is shorter than this. So taller, shorter. Next I'll write some numbers. From that we have to find which number is on top and which number is on bottom. So I write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So numbers are from 1 to 6. Can you say which number is on top? So number 1. So number 1 is on top. So can you say which number is on bottom? Number 6. So next we will see some other numbers. So 5, 3, 10, 12. Can you say which number is on top of this number strip? We can say number 5. It is on top. So which number is on bottom of the number strip? It is 12. So number 5 is on top and number 12 is on bottom. So that is top bottom. Now we are going to see about the position of the objects. So you can see a box and on the box there is a ball. Can you say where is the ball now? The ball is on the box. The position of the ball is on the box. So if I am taking this ball and keeping here. So what is the position of the ball now? It is under the box. So on, opposite of on is under. So the ball is under the box. If I am keeping this ball here. So where is the position of the ball now? It has changed. So now the ball is near the box. It is near to the box. If I am changing this ball. What is the position of the ball now? Can we say the ball is near to the box? No. Now the ball is far from the box. When the ball was here, the ball was near to the box. Now where is the ball? The ball is far from the box. Okay. So again this ball I am keeping here. What is the position of the ball? The ball is above the box. It is not touching the box. It is above the box. When the ball is here, the ball is touching the box. So we can say the ball is on the box. When this ball is not touching the box, now the ball is above the box. In the same ball I am keeping here. So where is the position of the ball now? The ball is below the box. Where is it? The ball is below the box. So if I am keeping here, where is the position of the ball now? It is under the box. Now, I am keeping the ball here. Where is the position of the ball now? The ball is in the box. Where is the ball? The ball is in the box. So these are the different positions of the objects. So we learned the ball here. If the ball is here, we say the ball is on the box. When the ball is here, we say the ball is under the box and if it is here we say the ball is near to the box and if it is here we say the ball is far from the box. See where is the ball? The ball is above the box. Now where is the ball? The ball is below the box. So these are the different positions. So what did we learn today? We learnt about 
comparing different objects. So we use bigger, smaller, long, short, thick, thin. These are the words that we use to compare objects and also different position of the objects. So did you understand? So you can take page number one. So in the first exercise, if you take, you can see a green caterpillar. So on above the green caterpillar, you have some objects and below the caterpillar, you have some objects. It's like, so there is a line there. So it's a green line, that's a green caterpillar. And above here, there are some objects and below here, there are some objects. So objects above this, above the green caterpillar, you have to color red. And object which is below the caterpillar, you have to color orange. Okay. Then when you see the next exercise, next one, you can see Neha and her father. So what are they doing there? They are playing football. So Neha is playing football with her father. So what we have to do? Draw one more football near her. So near. So we learnt near. We need to draw one ball near Neha. One or more ball near Neha. It can be one, it can be two or three. So it is it like imagine it is Neha, it is Neha and you have to draw one or more ball near Neha. Near. And you have to draw one ball which is far from Neha. So far means here. So you have to draw another ball which is far from Neha. Have to draw one or more ball. One or more ball near to Neha and one ball far from Neha. You can draw there. So these are the two exercises. You can do this as homework. So this is what all about comparing. So I hope you understood. In the next class, we will do the exercise related to this chapter. We will meet in the next class.